Hey, it's cold outside. Uh, we're in the, I believe, low 40s, upper 30s. It's, it's getting legit cold. So right now, turtles are pretty inactive, not really doing a whole lot. Uh, but I am walking around the yard trying to see, we'll see what kind of activity we'll see on a cold day. And we're gonna talk about what to do with your outdoor turtles when it does get this cold and uh, how the best thing to do is nothing at all. So right here in the Aquascape uh, wetland area. Now normally there's a couple musk turtles that'll hang out up in here and just looking around, I'm guessing that they have probably gone up under all this heavy vegetation, which makes sense. That's gonna be kind of one of the more insulated areas and that's where they're gonna wanna hang out. Uh, you will see kind of some tadpoles and other things milling around in here. But overall, when it's cold like this, things like to kind of get in one place, hunker down, and then that's where they're gonna stay. But we'll take a little stroll around the edge here. We'll see if anybody's out. But typically, on a cold day like today, you are not gonna see a whole heck of a lot. Oop, oop, there is a loggerhead on the bottom of the deep end. That's actually really cool. You don't see that guy on the bottom very often. I'm gonna try and get a shot with my cell phone. And it's neat because he's actually doing a normal cold weather behavior of trying to get under some leaves. So that's really, really awesome. And you can see he's just kind of pushing himself under some leaves, getting himself under a little bit of cover while it's cold, and just kind of hanging out down there. And, you know, it happens slowly. You know, it's cold, so he's not moving very fast. But he is moving a little bit and having a little bit of uh, wintertime, well, pre winter time activity. And this is pretty normal this time of year. You know, they're going to be intermittently active. As it gets colder, you'll see less and less activity till eventually you see no activity, you know, for a stretch of two or three months here in um, North Georgia. But he will hang out down there. Uh, I, I doubt he's foraging on anything. It's so cold that they're really not going to be eating on much. You can also see that the gar has also become inactive and is resting on the bottom of the pond. Really cool to see this loggerhead musk turtle just kind of hanging out on the bottom, getting under some leaves, and uh, preparing for what's probably gonna be a pretty cold night. Uh, right here, you can kind of see a little bit of Tony's head. And you can kind of see he's just nestled right there. He's under all those leaves. Now that's what a lot of aquatic turtles are gonna be doing right now, is getting under leaf litter and just kind of staying warm in that. And he's able to kind of keep himself a nice little cozy you know, thermal gradient there using those leaves. You can see, I mean, he is just completely covered, which is awesome. And he's pretty good to chill for the next few months. All right, so we'll go back here. We're gonna check on these Gulf Coast box turtles that are in this back corner. Doubt I'm gonna see him. It's, it's cold enough, I doubt I'm gonna see him. Oh, we got one, okay. I am surprised. Even though they are called Gulf Coast box turtles and they come from the Gulf Coast area of the United States, uh, you would think that that means they need hot temperatures or warm weather, but they actually do really well in cold. And a day like today in the 40s, you know, these girls are actually walking around. So that's pretty cool. I was surprised. I thought they would be buried. So turtles can always surprise you. They're, they're just fantastic animals. Yeah, she is actively foraging back here. You can see she's been digging a little bit of a hole. And that's... That's I, honestly, you know, that's the natural behavior you look for. You look for box turtles doing a little bit of foraging before it gets cold. So she's dug out like a little, little spot there. You know, it could be after insects or, you know, really worms, pretty much anything. But that's pretty neat. She's got a nice little spot where she's just been working on finding some stuff. And then eventually they like to go bury into underneath these yucca plants over here. Do not see, I don't see any of these tortoises. I don't see any box turtles too active in this pen, but I know that they're underneath this leaf litter that I put in here. So one thing I have had a few conversations about lately, and that is um, some people want to put their turtles outside, but they haven't really done it before, don't have a lot of experience with it. And uh, the biggest thing I can advise you is you have to commit to it. So you need to know that your turtle can handle the temperatures from where you live. And if they can, 
you have to provide them all the means to get through winter. So provide them, you know, a, a thick layer of leaves, both on land and in the water, give them a choice, give them some substrate to dig into. And then the worst thing you can do is put them out in the cold and then you freak out and then you bring them in and warm them up real quick. It can kill them. So the ma make sure that, you know, if you're gonna leave them outside in the cold, you leave them outside. They'll Generally they'll do fine unless you live somewhere super cold or you take something that's tropical and you're just leaving it out in the cold. So uh, you wanna use kind of some common sense. <laughs> hopefully this has been an entertaining video and hopefully those tips will help you. You know, always take care of your animals and when in doubt, if you're afraid to leave it outside, just bring it inside and take good care of it in there and then maybe try again the next year. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Take care, peace. Catch you guys next time.